Hey guys, Ponce here on the PBE, here to talk to you guys about a number of balance changes. Uh, first, we're going to be talking about Bami, Cinder, and Cinder Hulk, and uh, then the slightly more, perhaps, important changes of uh, Grievous Wounds and a number of Soraka changes. Uh, so, but, but first off, uh, the more basic of the changes, Bami, Cinder has just kind of been slightly nerfed. Let me show you guys here. Bami, Cinder, oh, it's right there. Uh, so that's been lowered by 20 HP compared to live. So on live currently it's 300 HP. Right now in the PB we have it set at uh, 280. So that's just kind of whatever I guess. Uh, slightly more interestingly, the item it builds into, or one of the items it builds into, Cinder Hulk. That's actually been buffed, which I find rather curious, uh, given that Cinder Hulk always seemed like you know a relatively reasonable option. You know, if you're a tank, you build it. It's pretty good. Uh, uh, obviously, Cinderhulk's been nerfed since its release date, but that's because Cinderhulk at release was completely ridiculous. Uh, and I actually, it was one of the things that you know kind of mystified me at the time. It's like, why is Riot doing this? This is pretty obviously overpowered. But anyway, we're talking about the current balance changes. Um, so Immolate has been changed so that um, the damage has, is now 7 plus 2 per level. Uh, that's been changed from 15 plus 0.6 per level so as you can probably tell from those numbers there at lower levels cinder hulk is slightly better uh, and at higher levels cinder hulk is considerably better uh, now the lower levels don't really matter too much because i did the math here and uh, cinder hulk now outs or will outscale the old cinder hulk by level six uh, and that doesn't really matter because obviously cinder hulk is kind of you know expensive item you don't tend to have that at really low levels or something very weird is going on so i imagine i don't remember the exact you know level you tend to get cinder hulk at but it, it feels like it's probably somewhere around six ish you know maybe give or take a few levels um and uh, yeah, for if you're wondering what the actual numbers are old cinder hulk so cinder hulk on live currently gives 25.8 damage per second uh on the PBE, it now gives 34 or you know, 43 damage per second. Uh, incidentally, this is exactly the same as Sunfire Cape, so perhaps that's why they came to that number. Um, but of course, Sunfire Cape deals more initially, and it doesn't scale as well, but they end up being the same number of um, 43. Anyway, uh, perhaps more importantly, as I was saying, Grievous Wounds has also been changed. Grievous Wounds, uh, as you guys are probably aware, is the thing that reduces healing effects by 40%. Um, you know, comes from sources like Ignite. Uh, what's the other one? It's uh, Mortal Reminder and the thing that builds Mortal Reminder. Uh, and also Executioner's Calling and Morellonomicon. That one right there. Uh, so yeah, those things... Now, now that Grievous Wounds has been changed, it basically um, it prevents all sort all forms of healing. So it's not just that self healing stuff that it is on live. So um, things like just passive regeneration, uh, uh, Garen passive, uh, Mundo alt stuff like that. It, those aren't the only things that are affected by now. That now now things like Soraka heal, Tarak heal, um, what's her face, Sona heal, stuff like that. So that's quite an interesting and actually rather significant change. I suppose people just finally got fed up of being unable to kill things because Soraka was hiding in the wings somewhere. But anyway, that's uh, we'll talk about balance implications that slightly more in just a moment. Stand with me, Aside from that, Soraka actually sisters. received uh, like a double whammy. Soraka herself has actually been nerfed. So her star call, the Q, um, that's been nerfed so that the slow effect on it uh, is now 30% at all ranks. So even, even if you level it, it doesn't go up. Because the old version, it used to start at 30, will go up to 35, 40, 45, and 50. Now it's just 30% 30 30 all ranks. So it's a 20% nerf at max rank. Uh, aside from that, the rejuvenation portion of the Q, so you know when you hit someone and you start healing over time, uh, the movement speed bonus portion of that has also been nerfed. So that's gone down from 15% to 10%. Uh, so in general, they're just kind of cutting down Soraka's ability to you know kite and get away and stuff like that, I suppose. Uh, additionally, the rejuvenation um, no longer works with Windspeaker's Blessing, the mastery. I think it was tier 6 Cunning Mastery, the thing that gives you... Um, uh, armor and uh, magic resistance that doesn't like keep refreshing each time you get a heal tick anymore so um i was reading a you know a riot uh, employees uh twitter post on it. it was talking about basically wind speaker's blessing was made at a time when sort of uh you know regeneration heals so like heals that keep or hots i suppose heal over times didn't really exist so um yeah that's why rejuvenation was interacting kind of strangely with that and they kind of got rid of it 
Um, so yeah, uh, in terms of the whole grievous wounds thing, no quarter for the wicked. it's weird. Like I don't know what to think of that because grievous wounds and sort of healing debuffs. When you have them, they tend to just completely gut healing, and when you don't, healing gets kind of out of control. So, I don't know if this is the best way to balance healing. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I just, it just feels weird to me. Um, I just don't have a super strong opinion on it one way or the other. I, you know, I don't want to pretend to be a game designer or anything. It just feels kind of clunky to me. Um, but, again, then how, how else do you balance no, it's healing. See, this is why, or part of the reason why I don't like healing in general. I actually prefer games when they don't have healing at all. You know, self-healing type things I don't mind too much, but like dedicated healers, I know it's a, like a popular playstyle and it's, you know, a staple. You know, it's the, it's the trinity. It's the tank, the, the ranged uh, damage dealer, and the, the healer kind of thing, right? But I don't know. There's, I don't know healers always seem just sort of hokey. And they mess with balance so much. Either they're just like overbearingly powerful or they just kind of don't do anything. Um, or, you know, they're so powerful that you just have people who are dedicated to destroying healers. Like, and that's all they do. That's actually what I, um, I spec my, uh, my, uh, my class in, um, because you could customize your class in, in an old MMO called Rift, um, uh, yeah, Rift. And so basically, I specialized my guy to do nothing but kill healers. So incidentally, he was actually good at murdering everything because of the way I made him. But yeah, he was really good at healing healer, killing healers because healers were just completely absurd in that game. Uh, really fun game, incidentally. I probably should have kept playing that one. I could go back and play it now. I suppose it is free to play. Uh, but anyway, I don't... Why are we talking about Rift? I'm, I'm just going to leave now. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, and as I said, Balmy's Cinder, Cinder Hulk, uh, Grievous Wounds, and Soraka Changes. Maybe you guys have some opinions on that one. It's up to me. I just get rid of healing. I'll see you guys around.